Hello and welcome to Fort Report. I'm Chris Conley. And I'm Alicia Woodruff. Okay, anyone who's anyone knows about Jazz by the Boulevard, but it's getting a new name and it will now be known as the Fort Worth Music Festival. Don't forget and don't miss it. That's great. The new name certainly better reflects Fort Worth's growth and evolving musical personality. The festival will feature some of Cowtown's favorites, such as the Josh Weathers Band, the Orbins, Telegraph Canyon, and much more. But wait, there's more. I always wanted to say that. Anyway, at the fest, you'll see some of the best names in the national, regional, and local music scene held on the lawn of the Will Rogers Memorial Center. It's two days of nonstop music with more than 20 acts on two stages. Think of Woodstock without the mud and hippies. Find out more at www.fwfest.com. The City Council approved the new city budget. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Boring, boring. But listen, this is where the rubber hits the road. So here's the scoop. The budget totals more than $1.4 billion. And the good news is that for the first time in several years, there are no big cuts to services. In fact, the budget actually adds new funding for police, code compliance, and public libraries. It also adds more money for street projects. And there's a pool. Oh, and there it is. Fort Report will continue indefinitely. It doesn't say that. Now our next segment is perfect for ushering in the Halloween season. Come on, Chris, come on out. I don't want to. Come on. <laughs> I don't know there was a costume. But being a Camp Carter alum, this next story is very close to my heart because it's true. 42 years ago, Fort Worth was abuzz with reported sightings of the Lake Worth monster. Although the creature described as a hairy, scaly, seven foot tall man goat beast hasn't been seen since that memorable summer of 1969, Fort Worth residents can celebrate the local legend and its habitat at the Monster Bash. The Monster Bash takes place at the Fort Worth Nature Center between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. on Saturday, October 1st. There'll be food, hay rides, canoeing, hiking, storytelling, archery, a monster musical, and much more. Go to the Fort Worth Nature Center website for more details. So did you ever see the Lake Worth monster or goat man when you were at camp? See it. I have the only existing footage. Wow, that's very convincing. 